Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Madison, and if you're new here, make sure to subscribe down below because we always have a good time. Um, in today's video, I'm going to tell y'all all about how I stay organized. For me, this is hard because I am a very forgetful person. And so, I'm one of the, the people that has to write it down in several different places. So, it's always accessible for me to look at what I need to get done that day. Doesn't mean it's going to get done, but it's what I need to get done. So, I'm going to take y'all along and tell y'all just a few of my tips for how I stay organized. So, let's just jump into the video. Alright, so, my first thing that I have been doing since I was in middle school would be writing everything down in my planner. So, this is my Lily planner and I put some stickers on here that were on my old laptop case just to make it, you know, cute and more me. But in here... We'll go ahead and just get to January. I write down everything. So like this was last week. Everything that I wrote down. Things that needed to get done. Things that got moved. And when things get done, I cross them off. As soon as they get done, go ahead and cross them off. So that way... I like look back and I don't have to worry like, oh, have I done that yet? Girl, we already know. We cross it off. And that's just like a few of the things that help me to stay like on track. And this planner goes with me everywhere. I keep it in my book bags, in my car, always beside my bed. It's always with me. It's just so I know what needs to get done the next day or that day. All right. So, tip number two of how I stay organized. I have everything also that's written down in my planner, written down on my computer calendar that goes straight to my phone. So, I'm going to insert a clip of what my calendar looks like on my computer. Alright, so as you can see on my calendar, I have several different things that need to get done, but this is like an overview of like what my calendar currently looks like with everything that needs to get done and now you can see I'm going to click on the week and I can see like assignments that need to get done and the days that they need to be turned in what time I have to dance where I need to be for that week and what time and everything that goes to my laptop also goes to my phone's calendar and I'm, it's not going to be clear but I can click on it so today's the 28th these are all the assignments at the top that need to get done and when I'm on the go worrying about if I've done something I can look right here at my calendar and see what if I have any appointments if I have to teach dance class different things and sometimes I'll share this with friends because they're very forgetful so I'll share the same assignment so they know that hey this needs to get done too Alright, and another way that I stay organized, especially with school, is, and all the different classes I take, is these subject dividers. So, I have several of them, and I have, like, this is for my elementary class, and then I have one for my mate class, which is, like, teaching kids math. And if, like, assignments get passed out that don't have, like, punch holes until I get home, they can go right here in the little folder. And then what I always do is when a teacher gives us a syllabus, I put it in these clear sheets like this. So I can go back and look back at, hey, this is how much this assignment is worth. And just know... It's just like an easy way to like get the teacher's email, office hours. You just flip right through here and go to it. All right, and this will be kind of like tip number four of how I stay organized. Um, I have this divider right here behind me that holds work to for school. And so I have, let's see. Like this one is lesson plan activities and I've already moved that to a different folder that's like holds all of my lesson plans that I've ever written. So if I teach kindergarten one day, I at least have three or four lesson plans that I can look back on. And 
I always label it at the top so that way I know what this folder holds and there's like several of them I have one for YouTube and for like out I got Dean's list and I always keep like little memorable things like from school when they send me like hey would you like to be in this club whatnot I always keep that in there too just just for myself and I tip another tip would be for me that I do is I have sticky notes everywhere they're on my computer like on my computer screen so that way I can look back and say these assignments need to get done for this week and so that way I don't have to look back in my calendar and I can see every time I have my computer you have to do these assignments Madison like they need to get done and I put the date beside them and it helps me to see just kind of like a weekend glance like all the assignments I need to do so that way I don't wait till last minute to do them and my last thing that I do to stay organized is I always try to get my assignments done one day ahead so that way I turn them in and I have a question for my teacher I'm not turning the assignment in at 11.59. I have enough time to ask my teacher a question or like other friends that are in my classes. You know, we try to work on it together a day ahead. So it just gives us more time so we don't procrastinate, I guess you would say. But that is it for today's video. So make sure to subscribe to my channel. Give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below a tip on how you stay organized so i can try to stay organized also and i'll see y'all guys later bye